Hey guys and welcome to another update about my hair. It's going strong, it's going good. Um, so if you wanted to know more about the hair, you can leave now. If you want to know more about the circuit we're going to design, I'm going to explain that now. Uh, so this video is actually about a noise making circuit that you can use to irritate people. It's most used for kids and myself. Um, so it uses a triple five timer. I'm going to go into detail exactly how the circuit works and what components are used around it and why it's used. So it's basically this little thing and as I touch the sides, it makes this random irritating noise. So it's done by changing the resistance of the circuitry by your human body. You have resistance as a person and then you change the frequency of the output. So the speaker, any speaker in the world is just basically frequencies that it plays. Like a piano, C, D, E, F, it's different frequencies. So you are changing the frequency of this to change the output of an 8 ohm speaker. So if this sounds interesting to you, uh, yeah, I'm going to go through the circuitry on KeyCare. The circuit is available on a guitar, so if you want to build it yourself, you're welcome to. But let's get started. So the first part to understand is the power supply. So the power supply keeps everything running. Um, so I will run this circuit off a coin cell battery. This is a triple five timer, TLC555. So it needs about 3.3 volts, 3 volts to work. Uh, you do get a TLC551, which actually runs off a 1.5 volt supply. That means you can actually use a single cell battery um, that you find in remote control or anything to power the circuit. So if you use TLC551, you can have a lower voltage input for the same circuit. So as you can see, I just have a switch so I can switch it on and off so it doesn't keep making noise 24-7. And then I've got my decoupling capacitor here. Uh, it's very large because there's a ripple in my input voltage when my microphone plays something. So as always, we're going to have the bypass capacitor quite close to our battery. Now let's chat about the heart of the circuit, the triple five timers. So like I mentioned, you can use, either use a TLC555 or a TLC551, depending on what voltage input you want to have. So what the triple, triple five timer is, is actually basically just a oscillator, which I say, say a stable multi-vibrator actually, uh, which is just another way of saying oscillator. Um, so the frequency of this oscillator or triple five timer is set by the two resistors and the capacitor. So depending on these values, depends on the frequency of the output. So by changing how quickly this triggers, the so how quickly this goes high, low, high, low, high, low, depends on the type of frequency that my speaker makes. So the speaker will just change in frequency. So depending on the frequency, depending on the noise. So like a piano, every key has a different frequency. And now we're literally changing the frequency on the output to make the certain noise. But to do that, you need to be able to change this the ratio of this and we do that by the human touch so the human touch has its own resistance as well you as a person has resistance so when i touch these two pads i'm actually changing the resistance here which is changing the output frequency of my triple five timer so that is the basics of it so we actually have a real life example of this where what actually happens to a five timer it slowly charges this capacitor and the, the discharges it and that's how it keeps playing with the output trigger threshold. So it charges, discharge, charges, discharge. So you can actually see a real life example um, in the real world called a Japanese garden bamboo water timer. And this is pretty much what the triple five timer does. So it charges with electrons actually, and then it discharges. So it charges, charges, and then it discharges with a pulse. So instead of water, we have electronic flow actually discharge. So as you can see on the top right here that the frequency is actually calculated by 1.44 divided by C3 times RA plus 2 times RB. So this is my RA R2 and this is my C2 actually. So <laughs> I took this from the internet but this my C2 is their C3 and this is RA RB. So by changing these values I can change the frequency but like I said this is constant and then by touching this that changes the resistance of the circuit because I can't actually control what my resistance is when I touch it um, it's the noise you make is random now because the triple five timer does not give enough power to play music or sound on my speakers we have to have ampli amplification circuit using transistors um, so the triple five timer is normally just used for digital electronics is not normally used to power a 8 ohm speaker so we make use of a class B push-pull circuit. So a class B amplifier, should I say. So that just means that each transistor only conducts during one 
half cycle of the input wave. So this is my input wave. So if we've got high, only the top transistor will conduct. If it goes low, only the bottom transistor will conduct. So this point here is actually just half of the voltage here. I will put a video link below explaining the setup, the class B amplifier setup more in, more in detail. So if you know about the emitter and the base and all the calculations around it, then you can watch that video. I'm just trying to briefly explain how the circuit works so you can understand it in a more general aspect. And then when, once our signal has been amplified by the class B amplifier, then it will go to our speaker. So this speaker is normally an 8 ohm speaker and you just will solder the wires onto the positive and negative. And that's the thing that makes the sound. So let's just go briefly over again what we spoke about. We've got a power supply. In my case, I'm using a CR232 coin cell battery. You can use any battery you want, depending if you use a 555 timer or 551. Uh, depends on the input voltage that it needs. I've got a, my discharge capacitor, my bypass capacitor, <laughs> bypass capacitor to keep intact the ripples because there will be some ripple in your supply when the speaker goes on. And then these three components are very important to play around with the oscillation of the triple five timer. So like we spoke about, it discharges and charges, discharges and charges. And by changing around with these values, we change the frequency. So, and by my human hands, I can change the resistance of the circuit and then the frequency changes. And it's the frequency that I change that I put here that will change the sound that the speaker makes. So when you hear music and stuff, it's just all frequencies. And this is just the low level of that. Like on a piano, your C, D, E, F, G, all is a different frequency. And that is what we're manipulating here. But that's not strong enough to play the speakers, so we amplify it like a normal stereo. As always, guys, our designs are available on GitHub. So please feel, feel free to go on our GitHub Plumpot55 and download any schematic, any PCB that you would like. And let me know if you make this yourself. So that's it. That's the basics of the noise making circuit. So it is based on a circuit uh, that's used called a draw audio, draw audio, something like that. Um, so we just made our own PCB for it. So yeah, here's actually how it looks. As you can see. So you can use these little copper tape to extend it or you can just touch the pads at the end here it will still make noise. So however you want to make a noise, you can make a noise. So thanks for watching another episode of Let's Learn Circuits. Uh, next week I'm going to go back to the macro keyboard. So my programmer just came, so I was waiting for that, the JST link. Uh, so we're going to carry on with that. Um, so I've got about three weeks left of this here. So tune in every weekend to get an update, to see how it goes, and to learn more about electronics. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Bye.